In this video, I want to show you how you can work with the global snippets functionality. Hey and welcome back, nice to have you in the second lesson of module 2. I am Florian, the developer of Snip, the rich snippets and structured data plugin for WordPress. If you want to use the plugin, please feel free to follow the link that you can find in the description area. In this video, I want to tell you how you can automate the generation of structured data. In the first lesson of module 2, I told you how you can integrate a single structured data type into a single post, page or a custom post type. Wasn't that easy? We didn't need a single line of code. Good job. But what if you want to integrate a structured data type to more than just one single post? What if you want to add it to all posts to posts that have a certain category or a certain tag. You don't want to add snippet to every single page over and over again, do you? That's why I have created a functionality that I have called global snippets. The procedure is approximately the same as for the single snippets, but it has more interesting features that make your life super easy. And I'm going to show them to you now. All you need to do is to go to the global snippets menu in your dashboard. And here we go. You can now create a structured data type and select where it should appear. I will show you this in more detail soon. But before that, I would also like to mention that my plugin ships with some pre-created global snippets that most people use. They are not installed automatically, but the plugin will ask you if it should install them. Just hit the install button on top of that page and you will see that they will magically appear. For now, you will find a review for a product, a product for a WooCommerce, a recipe, an article and an organization markup. Some of them are not yet published as I can't know what you do on your website. Please also note that this view can change in the future as well, so it might be that I integrate more and more predefined snippets here. Okay, let's take a closer look into the article snippet. As you can see, the structured data generator is also here. You have seen it in the last video where we created a single snippet on a single post too. There are two things that make global snippets so powerful. The first one is that you don't need to fill every field by hand. You can choose from a variety of variables. Let's take a closer look at the headline property of the article schema. As you can see, I've chosen to use the post title for the headline. So if we integrate this global snippet into all of our posts automatically, it will use the post title from the current post to build structured data for the article. Again, the global snippets functionality allows you to create one schema that can be used on multiple posts, pages and custom post types. It replaces the variables with the current values from each post. But how does we tell the global snippet where it should be integrated? Just scroll down a little further till the position meta box appears. Here we define a set of rules to determine which pages will use the above schema. In my case, the snippet will be integrated when the post type is equal to posts or pages. If we now test the post with Google Structured Data Test Tool, you see that the headline has the value of the current post title. If we check a page, it's almost the same. The only difference is that the headline property has now a different value, the value of the page title. The plugin comes with a variety of field types that you can use. For text values, you can integrate things like the post title, the excerpt, the author, the name, and a lot more. The field type select box changes with every schema property and intelligently shows you only the fields that are allowed here. So in this screenshot you see that you cannot enter your own text or a post title for example. This is because the aggregate rating property does not allow plain text here. It would result in an error later so the plugin is smart enough to avoid errors up front. Let's say you are using a third-party plugin that writes data into the post meta table of a post. You can use this data too. All you need to know is the name of the field 
in the database the plugin uses. In my example, I use a rating plugin that writes the overall value in the post meter field called pH rating value. So I have chosen post meter field from the drop down and entered the name. That's it. It's also possible to use data from the very popular advanced custom fields plugin here. No extension is needed, it works out of the box. Just enter the name here as well. Some of the very popular plugins are supported as well. For example, if you are using WooCommerce, you can choose to integrate the comments on products as reviews or as shown in this example, use the overall rating for an aggregate rating property. Yes, you can build nearly anything with the plugin. And if this is not enough, you can tell your developer that the plugin is extendable via WordPress action and filter hooks to integrate all the stuff you need. Super easy. Now let's sum up what you have learned in this video. You know what the term global snippets means and that you can use the functionality to integrate structured data automatically. You have learned that you can set up rules and rule sets to exactly define where a snippet should appear on your WordPress site. The built-in field type dropdown intelligently suggests what value could be entered for a field. It allows you to automatically choose from a variety of variables like the post title, the post content, author names and a lot more. Some third-party plugins like WooCommerce and Yoast SEO are supported as well. If you need custom data, you can use the post meter field type to fetch data from other plugins like advanced custom fields. If that is not possible, for example, if the data has a strange data format, you can always ask a developer to extend SNPs functionality by using action and filter hooks to extend its functionality even more without losing its update capabilities. Isn't that great? You will not find another plugin that can all this. Believe it or not, you can do even more with SNP, the rich snippets and structured data plugin for WordPress. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can override values from global snippets. You should watch the video even if it sounds strange to you now. There are a lot of use cases where overriding global snippet values makes totally sense. For example, for recipe markups. So I hope I will see you in the next video.